everyone. Today at International Airport Summit in London, Kensington, I am joined by Lakshmi Narayanan, the Chief Project Officer of Bangalore Airport. Thank you so much, Lakshmi, for joining me today. Thank you. Uh, I'm with uh, Lakshmi Narayanan. Yes, I'm with Bangalore International Airport for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. Currently, I'm functioning as a Chief Projects Officer. Mm -hmm. As responsibility level, I'm responsible for all the projects happening, as mm -hmm. well as the engineering maintenance of Bangalore Airport. Mm -hmm. I also take care of the sustainable initiatives at the airport. Sure, understood. So thank you. For, thank you for introducing yourself. So, um, as a recently appointed Chief Project Officer at Bangalore Airport, could you inform us of any upcoming projects for the airport and any projects you're currently working on? You see, just we have completed our Terminal 2, yeah. which is Pride of Bangalore. It's a 250,000, I mean, terminal, yeah. which is serving both domestic and international. The domestic portion we opened in January 2023, and the international opened on 12th of September 2023. Mm. So the first part is stabilizing the terminal. Mm. Then we have the current terminal, which is called Terminal 1, mm. which was so far used for domestic and international. Now we are converting that terminal into a full brick domestic terminal. That's the immediate one. Mm. Also, this terminal is built in 2008, upgraded in 2014. Mm. Now, with the technology change, we'll be upgrading this Terminal 1 also. Mm. This is another project. Then, the airport is getting a connectivity through metro. Mm. So within the airport premises, we are building two more metro stations. Wow, wow. Apart from that, we have got a cross field taxi wheel, which is we have two runways. These two runways are connected at one end. We have also plans to connect to the other end to reduce the taxi time. This project also will be coming up. Apart from that, we are working with the state government to uh, I mean, uh, have an alternate connectivity to the airport from the other side of the airport. So that work is also will ha I mean, happen. Sure. So our hands are yeah, full with very, projects very coming hands -on. up. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, in taking on terminal projects, what are some key qualities that you look for? See, obviously, whatever we are trying to do is, this is supposed to be pride of Bangalore as a yeah. city and then India as a country. Yeah. So obviously what we are developing should meet its purpose, yeah. which means it will have technology inbuilt. It will be always a sustainability is part of our mission, mission. For and sure. then it will be embedded into that. Sure. And of course, the passengers' experience, how, how they, what they are going to do inside the terminal, how it is going to benefit, how they are going to enjoy the terminal is going to be the factor. Mm. So any projects what we are taking, it will reflect quality mm. and then the correct cost mm. and fit for its purpose. Mm -hmm. Understood, yeah. So we, we, International Airport Review, recently partnered with Bangalore Airport to learn more about T2's redevelopment and how it's made ecotourism and sustainability such a vital part of its reconstruction. Would you tell us why these qualities, so sustainability and ecotourism, were so important to Bangalore Airport, please? Uh, first of all, Terminal 2 is not redevelopment. Mm. It's a full-fledged new development. Mm, mm. We had earlier terminal at 150,000 square meters. This terminal building, Terminal 2, is constructed by the side of the old terminal at 250,000 square meters. Mm, mm. When this terminal is built, we have a vision that Bangalore is known earlier as a garden city of India. Yeah. But then over a period with the development of the city, with the infrastructure development, it has lost its charm. Uh -huh. So we thought that when we are building a second terminal, it should reflect the city where it comes. So first thing is the terminal in a garden. Uh -huh. And obviously, Bangalore is Silicon Valley of India, yeah. which means technology. So we have embedded technology. Yeah. And third one is sustainability, which is also our in our DNA, mm -hmm. that whatever development we are doing, it has to sustainable, it has to benefit the future, it will not compromise anything related to the sustainable mm -hmm. initiatives, whether it is power, water, waste, etc. Mm -hmm. And also, at the last point, while everything else is there, the art and culture, which is also an important element. So Bangalore Airport Terminal 2 is built on these four visions, mm -hmm. whatever I talked about it. Mm -hmm. So, when we did this work, everything we, I mean, what I mean, integrated all these things together. Mm -hmm. So naturally, the terminal building has got a lot of natural lights. Mm -hmm. Around 10% to 12% of the area is covered with mm -hmm. natural light. Mm -hmm. The lights, what is used other than that, is also energy efficient lights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The technology, what we have adapted for our systems, are energy efficient and latest technology. Mm -hmm. And we have created a lot of water bodies to give a sense of feeling for the passengers mm -hmm. to be inside the terminal. And we have interwoven with a lot of arts and culture which reflects Bangalore Airport. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we have used the technology which will make the passenger's journey more comfortable, meaningful, and then efficient mm -hmm. in a way that it benefits all the segments. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much for explaining that. So, how do you think projects like these will benefit tourism and local catchment areas alike? You see, as I mentioned earlier, Bangalore Airport is 
uh, I mean, we consider that this is a gateway to South India yes. for the people. Yes. So people start the journey at the airport mm -hmm. and they end the journey. Whoever is coming as a tourism, they start their journey to the city from the airport and then when they are going back, they end the journey at the airport. Mm. Which means that the, uh, the feeling when they are entering it should be more welcome. They should feel attached to the city, attached to the airport. Yeah. And similarly, when they are going back, the send-off also has to be equally good, efficient, and memorable. Mm. This is the theme in which we worked on this. Karnataka as a state has got a lot of potential for the tourism. At the same time, when they are coming to the airport, we would like them to consider airport also as a destination to be seen, felt, touched, and then mm -hmm. uh, they should feel the terminal from our side. Mm. That's one of our aim. Along with that, the technology. Mm -hmm. So the airport is built for that purpose. Mm -hmm. While we have done that, we have taken a lot of sustainable initiatives also attached to that. The terminal is running on 100% renewable power. The, the material, what is designed is local material, affecting mm -hmm. the sustainability. Mm -hmm. Also, we are going to have large solar panels on top of the roof. The entire Bangalore airport, not only Terminal 2, is running on 100% renewable energy. Mm -hmm. This is one part. Mm -hmm. Second one is water. Mm -hmm. The terminal will be using a mix of uh, normal water and the treated water. The waste which is coming from the terminal, the waste water coming from the terminal is getting treated and reused in the terminal. Mm -hmm. And also, we have large water bodies, I mean, uh, developed as part of the project. Mm. With this water bodies developed, not only we are harvesting the water to the ground, mm. but also we are treating and then using it the terminal, saving the water from the government, uh, which hitherto, till now, we were uh, taking it from government as per the agreement. Mm. But going forward, slowly we move into a category that where we'll be using our own source of water. When I talk about water, yeah we are recharging the ground more than what we are consuming. Mm. This is called a water positivity index. Mm. In a water positivity index today, we are at 2.36, which means for every one liter of water I am consuming, I'm harvesting or recharging the ground with 2.36 liters of water. Wow. Apart from this, we have also taken it a journey of waste management. Till now, we were selling the waste to, uh, I mean, government approved vendors to treat our waste. Mm -hmm. However, we are not sure about how the waste is getting treated. Mm -hmm. So we have taken a journey that whatever waste is getting generated in the airport will be treated within the airport. Mm -hmm. uh, we are developing, it is in the final stages of commissioning. In the next two months, we will be commissioning that waste management plan. Mm -hmm. When it happens, it will lead to something called a circular economy. You've got a food and beverage outlets in the airport, which generates food waste. This waste is going to our own waste treatment plant. And in the waste treatment plant, it gets treated energy and gas will be produced. Mm. The same gas will be coming back to the, mm. uh, I mean, uh, the outlets and then it will be used for the purpose of reproducing the foods, etc. and all. Yeah. So in a way, we would like to embrace the circular economy around the airport. Yeah. And also, with all these developments, we are looking at something called a net zero airport for our scope one and scope two emission. This net zero, I mean, scope one and two, we want to achieve it by 2030. Mm -hmm. While I talk about scope one and scope two, which is in our control, we are also targeting scope three emission, which is a third party emission associated with the airport. The, for example, the aircraft's emission, et cetera, and all this thing. That also, we have steps, baby steps to start covering it by, uh, there is a dream project to use sustainable aviation fuel to a tune of 10% by 2030. These all are some of the initiatives, which is very dear to our heart, mm -hmm. and which is, embedded into the DNA of our employees mm. also. Mm, understood, okay, great. So how do you look to work with innovation and new technologies with sustainable air operations? Obviously, yeah. since we are living in the Silicon Valley of India, yeah. innovation and then digital transformation yeah. is part of our, uh, this thing. Yeah. So what we do is even before Terminal 2 started, there was a lot of ideation among the employees, ideation with other eminent peoples, ideation with industries, etc., and all these things. On that, there were many ideas discussed. And we have our own innovation lab. The innovation lab actually developed with the industry some of these projects, what is to be done. Yeah. And some of these projects have been absorbed. Uh, for example, uh, there is something called a Digi Yatra. Mm. Digi Yatra, we also thought about it. This is how to make the passenger's journey much more digitally enabled journey, mm. where you can call the face as a passport or your biometric is good enough to pass through the, I mean, the entry, the check-in, and then the security check more easily in a process to be. Mm. Now, Government of India has also taken the Digi Yatra initiative in a countrywide aspect, technology development, which will be implemented in the airports over a period of time. 
So every aspect, we look at it innovation and how it can be benefiting the operating, I mean, operation of the airport. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it, got it. So how are you working with governments and tourist offices to promote your destination to travellers? See, as I explained earlier, mm. we look at it, Bangalore airport reflects the city and then the state where it is situated. Yeah. So obviously, when people are coming to the airport, we have the, the themes, what is developed in the art and culture in the airport also reflects what is available in the state. Mm -hmm. So people are getting to that where they are going into. So we work with the government departments, how our initiatives will reflect the travel, enable the travel, mm -hmm. getting the traveler, knowing the state, knowing the city mm -hmm. and develop. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, tourism is not directly controlled by the airport, yeah. but we facilitate we yeah. become a, a little, I mean, push from our side in developing yeah. it. And for my final question, I'd like to ask you, what is your airport's most distinguishing feature that gives passengers a sense of place? Obviously, the green, mm -hmm. the technology, what we have developed in the airport, yeah. the look and feel, the art and culture, mm -hmm. and the sense of belonging and sense of, uh, yes, I'm not in the airport, I'm in an area where I feel myself mm. free, and then enjoying my journey. Mm. It's our thing. Very magical.